MK Leo is a master of both spacing and recovering. Right? He makes sure that like he's not gonna get you no know, bare edge guarded by Game and Watch at super early percents, right? Yeah, absolutely true, but it is still going to be very, very difficult. Leo pulling out the Byleth end. Byleth actually does decently against Game and Watch. Has huge right. disjoints. Has the ability to keep Game and Watch juggled in the air, especially if they're trying to go for the dare back to stage. Byleth's up air will beat it. Right. So, getting into game number one, we're going to see, have to see, excuse me, what Monty can do here against the best player in the world. Here we go. Starting off with the nair into you no know, grab. Here we go. Clean 25% right there. And catching the jump from ledge with the up air. And you no know, MK Leo just not letting up with his aggression. And wow, almost didn't make it back. But catches it with the grab at the back air. Wow, MK Leo pulling on a show of how good Violet can be. Already taking the first stock. Uh, I think we know exactly how this set is going to be going, but it still remains to be seen if Monty can get something going. Gets caught by the drag down into the grab. Leo chasing off stage, and this should be a punish. No, not able to get the up B on Monty's landing. Using the nair to get past, getting those clanks out as well. Going to go for the down tilt, not able to find it either. All right. And Wow, tripping him up, using the smoke screen of the bomb as a way to, you know, fake him out with the air, with the arrow right there, but catches him off oh. guard and gets the another arrow off stage. Wow, this Byleth has just been barely touched. Monty needs to be really careful with how he's off stage, how he's he's keeping an eye on how Leo is approaching because Leo loves to go off stage with that neutral beat. Try getting the up the shield, but unfortunately gets crossed up right there. And here we go. I feel like Monty, for the nair. Yeah, Monty's just a little bit lost on. Oh, how he this could be it. dead. This is not going to be dead. Monty able to just barely survive, but it was very, very close. Right. Now Leo chasing off stage again. This time he is able to get the uh, get the bucket, and I think Leo is dead here. Right. No double jump. Yeah, that's a definitely a dead pilot. Not but, able to get back onto the stage, but still uh, a full stock advantage. Not to mention the fact that Monty is at kill percent on this one. Leo is looking pretty. He's sitting or sitting pretty rather, looking fine. Gets back up onto the stage. Pa no, not able to get past the chef quite yet. Taking a little bit of damage from it, but gets the F tilt at the ledge. And on town and city, even with the best of DI, not going to be able to survive that. A brutal, a fast, an insanely quick game number one. All right, and we saw Monty trying to throw out a Hail Mary judgment at the end right there, hoping it would be a nine to you know, even up the socks. But MK Leo is not one to you know be outdone by cheap tricks like that. If you, know, you want to beat Leo, you are going to have to outplay him super hard. Down throw judgment, a fantastic setup to kill. It, it, you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well, at least you tried, right? Getting into game number two, running it to uh, Smashville, trying to get a little bit less space between them. But I, I just, I don't think it was a stage issue, to be completely honest with you. Monty's got to find a fundamental change in the play style of the match. I know going up against a player of this caliber, I don't think Monty ever has a Byleth experience of this level. Uh, I don't think anyone has Byleth experience of this level. Uh, there, there are very few good Byleth players out there. Pelu Pelu is an example of one of them, a fantastic player in both Cruise and Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if they have offline results, but they're just, there's just no one who does it quite like Leo. All right. Goes for go. the down tilt, gets the up air on the landing, and. Monty going to have to drift very far away to get it, but does get the parry into the grab. Right. Tries going for another backer, but MK Leo skillfully avoiding it too. Looking for the down tilt to two frame. A good spot dodge from Monty, but now he's stuck in shield. What does he do? What's the option? The option is to die. Gets caught by the fair. The tipper too going to get the kill, but very quickly recoups his loss with the down smash fair, uh, F smash. Right. And you know what? That is one of Game of Watch's you know, strongest abilities. Is if he does land a smash attack, you are either eating stupid amounts of percent or you're dying. Absolutely, and does of course have that that invincible up smash to create space. But right now, Leo right back in the driver's seat, right back where he wants to be, popping Monty up with that F tilt. Tries for the up air, gets landing there instead, but the up out of shield punishes. And oh no, Monty tries for the grab when he's just out of range, and the Randy down smash catches him. I, know, I feel like that was MK Leo knowing that, like, yeah, he's not going to be able to punish this. This has too much steel ton. Absolutely not. It's it's a very good move, that it, but it's only very good use sparingly, and Leo understands that exactly to the T. Looking for the neutral B, not able to find it. Cancels it and goes for the tether cancel as well to avoid Chef. Very good use of it. Landing uh, landing there, looks for the down, uh, down tilt, excuse me, out of it. Monty's on the back foot. Right. And I love how he goes for all these tilts, and oh my god. Oh, wow. You have to be careful how you DI that, because if you're not DIing straight out, 
you absolutely are going to be caught by the dash attack. And I love what MKLeo does with Violas. He goes for a single tail, and if it doesn't connect, then he immediately runs away. Because he knows that, like, okay, they're going to try to punish this, so if I run away and then throw out another tail, they're not going to be able to punish it. Right, but two stocks to one. Now 14% on Montion, but we, we've seen this turn into a whole lot more pretty quickly, and well, there you go, almost 40 off the bat. There we go. There's the down tail, gets the up B. And gets the read, but unfortunately doesn't get the reset with the second up B. No, he's not done quite yet. Going to be chasing Monty deep off stage. Can't find the dare, but he is going to read the neutral get up with the tipper back air. And MK Leo wins it two to zero. Monty goes down. I mean, it feels like when you're.